Welcome to Unbothered Millennials. On this episode, we're going to talk about turning 30. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> and you when can did... see my gray hair already yeah. on the Yeah, sides. we did our, our hairstyles different this time, so you could see like we're 30. <laughs> yeah, gray hair, dark circles, so yeah, 30 is hitting. Side part instead of middle part. Perfectly, <laughs> yeah. When did you turn 30, like January? January 11, yeah. It's been two months almost. Couple months, 30. How does yeah. it feel? Nothing special. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a number. Like, I was 29 two months ago. Now I'm 30. Mm -hmm. That's how I see it. Yeah. But the biggest change would be more in perspective. Mm. How I see life and basically my priorities are straight. Like, mm. I know what I want from my life now. Okay. So I'm not any 24 year old yeah. who was naive and who was wandering here and there what's going to happen. Yeah. I have lived my anxiety. I have lived my mental imbalance. So I'm, I'm sorted now. <laughs> how did it feel though, like turning 20 and turning 30? Like how, how was it different for you? I think 20s were so much fun mm -hmm. because there was no stress, mm. right? 20s were like back in college, going out with friends, having parties, yeah. and just living the life, you know, mm. easy, take a chill pill. 30s are more responsible now, <laughs> since I'm married. <laughs> married life. Yeah, married life and then away from family. Yeah. Basically trying to figure out how life gets more serious mm. and it's not like it's not it's fun definitely mm. but with more care and with more sincerity mm. so that's how it has changed for me for you well i mean turning 20 it felt kind of like oh my god yes like i'm turning 20 but also it was like i don't know why it felt like i was growing older oh, yeah when i was younger <laughs> like from 25 to 28, it was like, oh no, I'm going to turn like a year older. But then as soon as I turned 30, it was like, oh, like it's not that bad. Mm. Like it's a good, good life, I think. Good yeah, life it's not that bad. Because <laughs> when we see other people turning 30, I was like, what the hell? Yeah, like, oh my God, they're so old. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> they're like, no. <laughs> Yeah. Now, like, millennials, especially people of our age group, mm -hmm. they're hitting 30 and 31, 32. I was like, wow. <laughs> it just went like this, right? Yeah. And, like, some of the expectations that you had. Oh, wow. I think my expectation was when I'll turn 30, I'll be a millionaire. <laughs> and I'll be living in a big house uh -huh. and driving a luxury car. Yeah. That's how I foresee my 30s back then. Mm. But... When reality hits <laughs> you, it it's it's completely opposite. Like I'm not even close. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm I'm satisfied. Yeah, it's a good life. But those dreams were like so Where, naive. There yeah. was it. It wasn't practical at all. Mm. Yeah. Well, I thought like the world first would be a better place, and we all saw how that turned out. <laughs> so that expect expectation was kind of like. Meh. So it has gotten worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, generally worse. But, like, personally, I first thought, like, I would be married, have my family, have my house. Like, the, what would you call it? Like, expectations? Yeah. Like, like, the, an, like the main expectation was like that. Well, I mean, like that, have, that good girl expectation was that one, right? <laughs> yeah, so you have checked one of those, like uh -huh, you're married. I'm married. So celebrate that. Like, at yeah, least. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm getting there. And then like time passed, and I was like, okay, maybe I'll be alone my whole life, and I'll just be the cool aunt who travels the world. Like that was my like. And give advice. Uh huh. <laughs> Not give advice, but like, and the reality is like I'm doing pretty good. Like I didn't expect this life that i'm living now at all so it's good it's good so i mean i'm married obviously it's some of those expectations like were like yeah but it wasn't like this yeah <laughs> like here with you right now 
So um, eventually it, it has turned out to be in a good way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, like, turning 30, I was like, okay, I'm going to have my own place. And it's not like my own place. But it turned out even better, I think, because it's our own place. <laughs> and yeah. it's not actually our own place because we don't own it. But like, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> yeah. And professionally talking, I've always wanted like my own business, which I'm still working on it. But eventually I know it will happen. Like it's going to become a reality eventually. That's good. It's, it, it's a work in progress, right? Mm-hmm. I think most of us like have thought of having our own business yeah. at one point. I'll give an example. Back in college, there used to be a stationery shop mm. in college. So we would roughly do a math. Okay, if like 60 kids are making photocopies at this shop, how much mm. money this guy is making? Mm-hmm. Or if we go out at a roadside restaurant and then we'll do the math, we'll like, okay, maybe we can have this shop one day or we can have that sort of restaurant. Because... Once you start working, then eventually you understand, you know what, you want to be your own boss, Mm. right? Some people are happy working nine to five or whatever. But I think many of our friends also, they want to be like business owners and have something. Yeah, like some already are. Yeah. So it's it's kind of a work in progress Mm -hmm. right now. But one day, yeah. One day, eventually. Eventually (laughs) one day, yeah. We can quit our jobs and then... (laughs) Just do our own I thing. think that is the dream for everyone, honestly. Like, I think so. Have your own, like, yeah. company or whatever. Yeah. You don't have to be, like, yeah, an employee. But, I mean, again, it's it's not really a negative thing. Yeah. Because no. some people... Yeah, pers- some people dream of that, yeah. like, and it's okay. Some people pursue their career and then they excel in that. Then they're happy, they're fulfilled. Mm-hmm. So, it's totally up to how you see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some advice you would give to someone in their early 20s? I have a lot of advices, I think. Uh-huh. The first one would be, advices is a word, right? Advices or advice? Advice. advice. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah. I think the first and the very important advice is to slow down. And take it easy. Mm. You know. Because you have to trust the process. For example, in my case... I wanted to achieve everything so fast. I wanted to finish my degree, Mm. get a job, make a lot of money, buy a house, buy a car, get married. So everything happens at the right time. And you can only plan that, okay, I'm going to get married at 28 or 30 Mm. or whatever. But God has better plans for you. So I think in my opinion, the first one is to slow down, trust the process and take it easy yeah yeah that's literally what i wrote <laughs> yeah. don't rush into being a like functional adult because we're not functional yeah. at all like even i think our parents are not like they don't know a lot of things yeah like i think it's like a work in progress for everyone and also <laughs> uh i hated when someone told me this when i was studying but like enjoy your student years <laughs> like I know I know it's annoying I know it's so annoying when someone tells you that I even told one time like a cousin once that when I was already graduated and working she was like starting college <laughs> university I think and I was like oh my god enjoy it as much as you can like yeah. if you can do like um, what's the word like, don't pass some subjects. Like, do them again. Like, <laughs> stay there as long as you can. I mean, learn <laughs> as much as you can. I mean, not necessarily learn. <laughs> not, I mean, learning as but in, like, like, textbooks and all that. Yeah, yeah. But, like, more oh, as in... Spend more time enjoy in college. It. Like, yeah. have more fun. Yeah, have more okay. fun. Because once you go into the real world, like, that, that, all that is over. Yeah. And, like, also hang out with your friends as much as you can. Yeah. But don't take for granted... Don't take your family from for granted. Yeah. Because, like, they're always going to be there. But, like, your friends, it gets harder once you're all working. Yeah. To, like, match up the schedules and everything. Yeah. So, yeah. That would 20s, be my advice, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> 20s are mostly to learn and grow, I think. Mm-hmm. That's how I've seen it. Because mm-hmm. I've, I've lived my 20s and 
the kind of person I was then and now it's like complete opposite mm. so the focus in 20 should be learn as much as you can mm-hmm. and on top of that embrace failures because when we fail we just you know squeeze ourselves we feel so yeah. bad it's like yeah we such feel a like big we deal. feel very embarrassed and like i promise you no one remembers like yeah. once you go out of the room or like even two seconds after you you think you've embarrassed yourself like it's gone for everyone in Correct. their minds yeah so 20s are to learn and grow because from my personal experience my public speaking was very bad same why <laughs> because i didn't have any self confidence yeah. like my self esteem and self confidence was very low mm. and i also had some speaking disorders mm. and that made it more worse yeah no, not more worse that worse. made it worse <laughs> yeah apology for my bad grammar it's okay so yeah so learn and grow and if you have to get embarrassed Yeah, get embarrassed it, learn life. from it and move on nobody remembers nobody cares yeah because eventually you're taking that part of yourself through your life further mm-hmm. so learn from that grow and be ready for embarrassment yeah. everyone has like an insecurity like but yeah. that's another topic <laughs> yeah that's for another episode yeah so everything that a person dream about it's going to happen eventually yeah i I've, i've seen it in, in my personal life and i am blessed and i am more than thankful to the god and my family that whatever i was dreaming of i have it now so take a take a chill pill mm-hmm. and you know yeah learn fail learn fail and then eventually you will you'll be there yeah what did your teen self thought that how your 30s going to be like okay something that i think we all thought would happen like when we turn 30 um uh, or like yeah when we were like young and naive or or like a lead puts it better young dumb and broke which we still are like dumb and broke <laughs> in a good way <laughs> but not that young anymore <laughs> so something that i thought and i think we all did at one point is that we'd have our shit together <laughs> Yeah. But quoting Red Foreman, I hate to break it to you kid, but we are all just making it up as we go along, so don't be so hard on yourself. Well, like no not even grown-ups as I said before, like no like when something just hits them like they don't know how to handle it. They have to like take a break, calm down. Calm down. Yeah. Calm down. Yeah. <laughs> Come. think it over and then act like you don't have to like rush into things and stuff like that correct but i think again it it depends on how mentally mature you are yeah considering myself when i was in my 20s let's say early 20s mm-hmm. if something happens cuz you don't know what life has to offer mm. if something happens you are just crushed mm. because mentally you don't have any you know stress tolerance yeah, you're you not don't prepared. know exactly so you don't know how to react to a situation So in that scenario what do you do? Mm-hmm. You just break down and yeah. if you don't know I mean if you don't seek out for help talk to your friends and family it gets even worse. Yeah. And especially in this is what I've seen that in Indian households with Indian parents the kids are not very open. Mm. So even if you're going through something it would be really hard mm. to even open up with your parents. Well, I think it all comes up also to how you were raised and how open you were with your parents. Yeah. Because I think in a lot of households in our our generation it's the same. Especially if the parents are strict. Mhm. It gets even worse. So it's it's kind of in I won't say it's in your DNA but you you have to learn to live with that. Mm, right not necessarily you can get help you can get help yes but you have to ask for it you have yeah. to seek for help yeah especially when you're like not working it's hard because like how do you pay for help right correct i understand what you're trying to say yeah so personally i think you reach up to a point where you know you need help mm-hmm. just talk to your friends if you cannot talk to your family mm-hmm. but reach out yeah just don't live with it 
because at one point it's going to explode yeah and it's going to make things worse yeah. yeah so to finalize something you you would say to your younger self the first thing would be ignore the noise hmm stay away from negativity and and also stay away from any bad company be if it's family or friends doesn't really matter so stay away from negativity or any bad company that's going to be my first one and then the second one would be stop comparing yourself to others mm, that's right? a good one because i've seen in school in college in work life it's all about comparison oh he or she is better than mm. you yeah but not everyone can be a roger federer not everyone could be like best in the world certain person are born with that skill set and obviously with your hard work and you know discipline you can improve that yeah but stop stop comparing yourself to others yeah. like if you are if you are good in music if you are good in writing studies engineering science whatever it could be just pursue that yeah and don't <clears throat> put yourself down by comparing yourself with others mm-hmm. i that's, mean that's kind of hard at that age though yeah but it's a good point because in in school see if there is a class of 30 students all 30 are competing mm. and who gets the applaud the top 3 mm. rest of them are like what did you do <laughs> that right? was me <laughs> so I mean I've not just me like you have seen that in in schools as well mm-hmm. like how competitive it is yeah and how it impacts the mental health of a kid trying to just you know make it up to a good grades mm-hmm. not not being first or second in the class it yeah. doesn't really matter I mean even now it's still kind of like a struggle for a lot of people because for example I used to follow a lot of accounts on Instagram that were like these women that were beautiful amazing bodies and whatever and it's like something that i will never be because that's not my kind of body you know Correct. what i mean so it's like i'm comparing myself to a standard that i'll never reach yeah. <laughs> but that's another topic also <laughs> yeah. but it's like the same thing yeah because you have, to, you have to like follow people that are up to your standards i guess not standards but how how could I, mean, i put this <laughs> you don't really have to I, i guess follow anyone just be yourself and yeah, yeah, embrace no, like, whoever you inspired are inspired by people that mm. are good yeah that have like a good message have role models uh-huh. right yeah yeah that is great yeah because everyone is born with their own uniqueness mm-hmm. and if you compare yourself with someone else then you're killing that element about yourself yeah no. right and again it comes down to figuring out what's good for you what are you liking then you take it throughout your life and build a career or whatever from mm-hmm. that but back to the point that just don't compare yourself yeah yeah never do it and the last one is everything is going to be all right mm. you know take a pause enjoy don't rush you know because eventually you are going to have more anxiety and mental imbalance i have lived that for years and now i have realized like what i was fighting for like i was not in a race mm. so you know what take it easy live the day as it comes yeah but set goals and have real expectations yeah that is super important like to set goals because yeah. then you're just like in a limbo floating. Correct. Yeah. So goal could be like okay, I want to you know. Like even tiny goals like if you're struggling like with mental health or with something like I don't know. Like a tiny goal is like get out of bed. Exactly. And that's an amazing goal for yeah. a lot of people. Wake up at 7 in the morning. Mhm. And go for 30 minutes walk. Mhm. That's how you start like set up small goals. Mm-hmm. To, and then eventually increase your steps if you are more into fitness mm-hmm. start running yeah right and stop procrastinating things like that so have realistic expectations or goals rather yeah and just stick to them yeah 
because this age is very confusing and it's full of anxiety and full of doubts perhaps eventually it's going to be all good mm-hmm. and then you will realize oh, why i was so worried about you know today yeah which is years years further yeah yeah i mean to some people it's kind of like an imbalance in their mind in their brain actually yeah. like there's certain like um what's the word <laughs> i'm so smart in spanish man <laughs> like certain stuff that is missing mm. that they actually need to like take medicine or whatever to activate it you have to work which on is yourself, understandable yeah. like it's super normal but like you need to set also certain goals like like you said Again, to get throughout the day exactly and setting goals is really important because let's say if you're in a completely different mental space mm-hmm. you have zero motivation you are in depression anxiety whatever it may be So what are you doing to fix that? Mm-hmm. That's the first question, yeah. right? If you are going through something, only you have to take action on yeah. that. That's the first thing. So start with small, you know, small goals. It doesn't have to be big. Mm-hmm. Like okay, if I'm feeling low, why am I feeling low? Mm-hmm. And then drill it down further, what can I do to fix it? Like ask yourself questions. Yeah. And I think that's the only way you can fix those those conditions or those doubts you have in your mm-hmm. mind because i was the same way like few years ago i had no idea what i'm going to do with my life mm. i was in college trying to achieve good grades and then looking for a job on the side then obviously being uh, being an immigrant it's even harder yeah no family nobody here so you're trying to figure out shit on your own mm. and there's a day when it just explodes yeah i had those days yeah i remember <laughs> but i figured it on my own yeah it's 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 really hard it's not easy especially if your mental strength is not that good mm. then it's really hard on some people mm. but yeah again i mean I mental wanna... health is like a big issue yeah which we don't we're not experts but we need we know that like if you need help like reach out yeah yeah i mean we are we are, we are sharing our personal experiences mm-hmm. we are not experts yeah. in in that subject yeah, yeah yeah but again the point is if you're going through something and if you have doubts anxiety whatever just reach out yeah and try to find those questions if you can't find yourself reach out to the experts yeah Well, I think we are deviating slightly from the topic. <laughs> yeah. It's not mental health discussion okay. people, but <laughs> it's also important. <laughs> correct. But again, from younger self, I mean, I won't say I'm older self now, <laughs> but that transition from 20s to 30s yeah. is not easy. Yeah. At least for me. Mhm. For other people, it's fun. I've seen my many people some of my friends, they are cool, they are chill, like there's no issues. Mm. But I was the kind of person who was always like I want to achieve this. I mm. want to go there. I want to do this. I want to do that. So once I have done pretty much everything that I was dreaming of, I was like, okay, now what? <laughs> But that isn't like a never-ending thing, I think. Yeah. So mm. it's it's all about finding the perfect balance. Mm-hmm. And now my priority is to just enjoy every day. Because yeah, you also, that that's it. Like you also got to live in the present. Otherwise, if you st- you're stuck thinking of the future then like what's going on like yeah exactly be here with us <laughs> yeah. so buying a house making more money buying a car getting married everything is going to happen mm-hmm. and it's 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 all kind of predestined for everyone so why are we well, pushing that why are we rushing that not for everyone that? like for people who are like who want it only no i mean like, predestined in a way like okay it's going to happen at this point mm, yeah, yeah yeah and if you don't want to do it then it's fine yeah But that's how I see like everything is predestined. Mm-hmm. Personally, that's how I I, yeah. I feel. So yeah, that's my advice to young people who are not stable and trying to achieve five, ten, fifteen different things. Mm. Just stick to one thing and pursue that, and God will take care of the rest. I don't agree with one thing, because especially in your twenties, you gotta like explore to see what you like. to kind of find your passion. Okay, so I'll crack that. Goal as in like career wise. Still. <laughs> I mean, you can It's it's different for people like like for me personally like 
having a stable career in one thing because in 20 years I mean yeah once you find something you like okay stick to it yeah but like if you don't like it what are you doing there you're just wasting time yeah like and time is so precious because again in early 20s you are exploring different options so mm-hmm. you don't exactly know what you want mm-hmm. so but don't pursue or don't experiment too much that you end up wasting years and years still don't have anything in your hand that's also something that i think like it's so much pressure on to put on someone so young because how That's old true. how old are we when we finish high school 16 17 yes 16 17 18 i don't know i don't even remember mm. but like at that age to pick what you're gonna do your whole life is like well that's that's what we were taught and that's what was basically highlighted in the uh, surrounding so you pick one you pursue that yeah but it's kind of crazy it is crazy i mean like now i feel how crazy so much pressure yeah because (laughs) my parents were very liberal yeah i didn't have a pressure to pursue engineering or medicines Mm. i was i mean i was a i was good in economics and my dad gave me an option. You pick if you want to be into finance. Mm. I was good in sports. I loved cricket. Mm. My dad, he sent me on a cricket trial mm. to go there and perform and see how it goes. Mm. I was never interested. So my family never pushed me. Yeah. But imagine yeah, like, I mean, but imagine, mine. imagine those hundreds and thousands of kids who has to go through that yeah, pressure. Exactly. Especially in a country like India. And now I think it's getting more diverse mm. and... People are not narrow-minded now as they were before. Mm-hmm. That's good. Things are changing. But that's okay. how I it mean, is. I mean, there's always a minority, but like... you got to live with it because <laughs> if your parents want something, you live in that household, what do you do? You can't leave the house. <laughs> you can, but like how would you survive? Exactly. Because <laughs> you don't know how to do your, anything. Because your dad or your mom <laughs> is paying for everything. Yeah. So you got to stick there it's crazy. and listen to them. It's a crazy life. So, something I would say to my younger self is chill the fuck out. (laughs) This is not, like, you have time and this is not a race. Take it easy. Take it easy, man. And don't stress over things that you cannot control. Yeah. I'm still, like, working on that and I think we all are. Mm -hmm. But. That's a lifelong process. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, like, try to, like chill mm-hmm. <laughs> chill a little bit more and you'll meet your tribe like be patient because you're gonna be so happy that you found them and they'll come around so chill take yeah. a sip and relax chill the fuck out chill the fuck out yeah. <laughs> and in conclusion like as you said you're gonna be okay yeah. take it easy girl you got this chica i am the i am the prime example that you, you <laughs> you're going to be okay yeah because after all the embarrassments, all the failures, now, who cares? Mm-hmm. Everything is good, everything is stable. Yeah. But I think you have to live through that to be able to say those things. Yeah, it's like what we were talking the other day uh, when I asked you, like, would you tell your younger self what would happen if you ran into him? Like... Hmm. I mean, that's kind of a mind fuck for me. So <laughs> No, but we discussed this even with your friends. Yeah, yeah. And I think we all came to the same con- conclusion that we wouldn't. Because then we would do something that would mess everything up. And it wouldn't bring us to this same point. So let's keep it susp- suspenseful <laughs> and l- live through yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Correct. Because you don't know what tomorrow has to offer. So be ready for the challenge and live your life. Take it easy, enjoy, don't rush. Yeah. You'll achieve everything that you want to. Living the present, man. Yeah. And set goals, realistic goals. Don't be like, I'm going to be a millionaire by 30. Okay, but what's the plan? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Not like that. Yeah, you can you can set big goals, but between those big goals, set like tiny little ones that will get you eventually there. Exactly. Because if you're feeling low, you have... No motivation, mm-hmm. wake up at 7 in the morning, go for half an hour walk, mm-hmm. see how, how amazing you feel. Yeah. And you build that habit consistently, you'll be a different person. Yeah, definitely. So, that's it. That's it from our side. Thanks for listening slash watching us. 
Uh, we hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions or something you would like to for us to talk about, drop down in the comments below. And be happy, be kind. Live That's in the it. present. Live in the present and chill the fuck out. Chill the fuck out. <laughs> Peace. Bye.